Okay, we are on the last page for Monday. This is page three. Um, we have one question in the middle. This is going to be the process every day. There's going to be on the third page, there's one question, and then we're going to process that one question and answer it, okay? So the problem today says, the Franklin family had a swimming pool that had the following dimensions. 150 feet long, 80 feet wide, and 6 feet deep. Okay, so we have 80 feet, 150 feet, and 6 feet. It says, what is the volume? Okay, so obviously we've been given those three numbers to find the volume. Okay, so over here, this is really where you ask, do you understand what the question's asking? When you read this, can you figure it out in your brain? What is this asking you to do? Well, obviously this is pretty easy because y'all know how to do volume. You've got your three numbers and it gave you exactly what to do, right? So if, if we're gonna draw a picture, which we don't have to do, but let's just draw um, a three-dimensional pool just because we can. Okay, so we're just gonna pretend like this is a swimming pool because we want it to be 3D. It's probably not gonna be this boxy if it was a pool, but we can just pretend. So here's our little square swimming pool, or our rectangular prism swimming pool in the back of our yard. So we've got 150 feet long, okay? So this is gonna be our length. Then it says the width is 80 feet, so our width is gonna be over here, okay, 80 feet. Sorry, I wrote width on accident. So we've got 150 feet long, we have 80 feet wide, and we have six feet deep, okay? So this is our deep. Well, you guys know if we're finding volume, we have a formula, which is awesome. So we have two to pick from. This says we're making a plan, okay? Well, if we're gonna find volume, our plan is gonna be to use the formula because that's just the easiest way to solve it, right? I mean, that's why we're given a formula. So we have two formulas for volume. Okay, one of them is length times width times height, and the other one is base times height. Well, if we're looking at the information we got in our picture, they have not given us the base. Okay, we don't know what the base is. We can figure it out, but we don't know yet, okay? We do know the, our three numbers, so this is the formula that we're gonna end up using. Okay, this is gonna be our plan. So if we're actually gonna solve it, we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna rewrite the formula, and we're gonna plug in what we know, okay? It's asking for the volume, so do we know the volume yet? We do not know the volume yet, so we're gonna just write down our V, because we don't know what that is, okay? Do we know our length? Well, we look over here, and we look up here, and yes, we know our length was 150. Okay, do we know our width? Yes, it says width right here was 80 feet. And then it says height. Well, our height is the same thing here as deep. Y'all, they're not always gonna give you these exact words. You're sometimes gonna have to use common sense. So if you know something is a certain depth, that's gonna be your height, okay? So our height is six. So then we're gonna look at this and say, is there anything here we can do mentally that we can do without having to come and actually do the math? Well, I don't think I could probably do 150 times 80. I mean, I could if I really thought about it, but I know I can do 80 times six because it's not really 80 times six, right? It's really eight times six, and we're gonna add a what? We're gonna add a zero, okay? So eight times six, let's sing our eight song. So eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So we're gonna write 48, but we're gonna add a what? We're gonna add a zero, okay? So we've done that part of our expression, and now we're down to this last thing. Well, this is triple digit multiplication. Okay, so we're gonna need to come up here because we're gonna need a little bit of room to do this. And we've got zero times zero is zero, zero times eight is zero, zero times four is zero, so that was pretty easy. We've done our zero, we're gonna put our zero placeholder. Now we're multiplying by the five. Five times zero is zero. Remember that goes right underneath the five because that's what we're multiplying by, okay? Five times eight is 40, so it gets another zero and we're gonna carry a four. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. But we're not done yet because we've got a hundreds number. So once we cross our five out, we're not just gonna put one zero holder, we're gonna put two zero placeholders because we've already multiplied by the zero and we've already multiplied by the five. So we have two zero placeholders and now we're gonna start with the one. Well, one times zero is zero and remember guys, whatever that answer is, it has to go right underneath that one. That's why it's really important that y'all keep your columns straight, okay? So one times zero is zero. 
not carrying anything. One times eight is eight, and one times four is four. And now we're ready to do what? We're ready to add. Sorry, I should have started it over here a little bit. <laughs> so we've got zero here, we've got zero here, we've got zero here, we have eight plus four is 12. Carry the one, four, five, six, seven. Now, we don't have any decimals. None, none up here in our numbers. So we don't have to move any decimals back. So this is a kind of big number. So we're gonna count back three. One, two, three, that's where our comma goes. And our volume of this pool is 72, excuse me, 72,000, what was our unit of measure? Feet, and we just found volume. So it's not, it's not cubed, it's, I mean, excuse me, it's not squared, it's gonna be cubed. Okay, because we did length times width times height. We had three things, length times width times height. So the volume of our pool is 72,000 feet cubed. Okay, so then we look here and we say, okay, is this a reasonable answer, right? So if we had a pool that was this big, think about how big a swimming pool is, right? How many feet of water is that gonna hold? A lot. <laughs> so you know that number is gonna be a pretty big number. So if we would have gotten 720, that's not gonna be big enough to, to fit a pool, okay? We knew that we multiplied, so we know our answer is gonna be much bigger than what we started with, right? So explaining your answer in a sentence, I don't really care how y'all do that. I would just say, um, I found the volume by using my formula my volume formula. All right, so that's pretty much what you're gonna do every week.